welcome back guys thanks for joining me so today what we're going to do is we're going to open up my pilot survival kit my wonderful wife and daughter bought me this for my birthday can't wait to get it open i've been looking at one of these for quite a while um but just haven't got me into buying one so they bought it for me now uh, as you can see it comes in an olive green bag uh, this kit has been comprised to keep weight and volume to a minimum the whole package itself weighs just 450 grams or 16 ounces and measures approximately 180 by 120 by 50 millimeters. It is a standard IF issue and it has been issued with fast jet ejector seats since before the 1991 Gulf War. The item itself and all its components are produced by BCB International of Cardiff. Uh, you'll also see their name stamped on the items themselves. And BCB also supply many NATO and other friendly nation air forces as well as special forces and other special operations forces with similar or the same kits. Now the SKI, S, the SKI MK4 consists of three vacuum packed packages, parts A, B and C. And as we said it is stowed in this reusable cloth outer bag. So if we open it up, this is just a simple Velcro cloth pouch with a handle on top and said it contains all three items we can get all three packages out there now it is a very simple lightweight fabric pouch it's got a lid you can use it to get tinder food items you can use it to carry eggs anything that's going to help you survive if you put these packages into your pocket themselves you can also use it to gather fruit so it saves damage in it and there is a metal eyelet right here in case you want to tie it off to yourself using a carabiner a clip or a bit of cord so that you don't actually lose it. So I'm going to just move this bag to the side and we're going to start with part A. So this one itself is part A. This one is part B. And this one is part C. So we'll just move part B and part C to the side. And what we're going to do first of all is we're going to take a look at part A. Now part A itself contains a lidded container, two unlubricated condoms for the purpose of water carrying or containing food, keeping any items you need dry, dry themselves, two tampons which are literally only used for tinder um, or used to put into a wound to help stem the bleeding they're not used for their original purpose ladies you also have 20 water purification tablets a flint and striker a fire making block two needles and some cotton wool and as you can see here tampons used for tinder not for personal use condoms to be used as water carriers and not for per personal use and we have a batch number and an expiry date of 09 2023 what we'll do is we'll get this open it does come with a little bit seal at the top I'm usually strong enough to get through these myself I'll tell you what let's get the knife on it just very gently very gently through there right. the reason I was trying to be gentle is this bag can be kept in itself for scooping water out a stream you can use it to collect as a water trap having running off something if you're camped out for the night and you've got no water you're not near a water source you can try and catch water in it or again you can use it to store food items in itself so I'll just Pop that over there and here is our tin our tin itself comes sealed with some tape which has many uses and you can use it to fix your kit you can use it if you've got a blister in an emergency situation uh, you can use it to help yourself make shelter and, and many more i'm sure that you guys out there have got a list an endless list that a bit of black tape can be used for so i'm not going to screw that up I'm just going to try and lie that down at the way. And as you can see, the lid fell straight off as it because it's rammed. We've got a watertight seal here. 
straight out the bat we've got our first lubricated condom expiry date 2023 but as we said water carrying only not for personal use then we've got some water purification tablets coming out i don't even think i'm going to get all of these back into the container myself in the way they came out uh, oasis water purification tablets standard issue for the army and as you can see right here 30 minutes in the water one liter and you've got your items safe to drink right what else can we get out of here next okay so next we've got coming out these needles this little bag so this is where our needles will be contained stop us from spiking ourselves i presume we'll just drop those down as well and this looks to be our flint and striker it's wound up really tight makes it easier to package so we'll just unwind that and it literally is as small as you can get i mean i've not seen a flint and striker attached like that any smaller and very handy we've also got a wire saw here so if we need to cut down any wood yes it's going to be monotonous yes it's going to take a while but it is something that we're going to be able to do so we'll just put those there next we've got our fuel blocks so along with our striker we've got our resbit fuel blocks so that we can make fire and keep ourselves warm so we've got three of those a bit of cotton wool which can be used to make a fire can be used to help with any injury you've got and our two tampons again for fire starting so in this package we've got quite a lot of uh, items that we can be using to keep ourselves warm keep ourselves dry and uh, cook food and even sterilize some water so guys that was part a let's move on to part b and now guys we have part b now part b is the largest of three this also comes in a vacuum packed dark green floor pouch as you can see again it has an easy tear notch in the top inside, inside of the outer pouch now if you open this very carefully it can again double as a rudimentary lightweight water scoop or cup as we just evidenced with part a or be slightly smaller so what we'll do we'll open this up and we're going to find out what we've got inside see if we can get into this one without causing too much nope it's not going to work so carefully it's just going to slice through which is a shame really because we've just lost that much of our water collection capabilities never mind it is what it is so let's get this out and see what we've got okay so first of all we seem to have some sort of instruction leaflet uh, survival kit mk4 base specification issue 2 so this is giving us uh, all of the items that we have do not drink seawater, urine, alcohol, blood, fish, juices, and attempt to ease your thirst. They have the opposite effect. Okay, so that's handy to know. What I'll do is I'll just scroll this up for you. You can pause, have a read, see what it's all about. On the back, we've got some more. So if we just pop that over there, so there's our bag. I'd say that would hold a litre. So I'd say we'd certainly be able to use our water purification tablets with this kit. So here we go. We've got in here a sleeping bag, candle, instruction sheet, which we'll just have a look at. We've got 20 foot of snare wire, a fishing kit, 20 foot of nylon cord, a compass, elastic band, suspenders, clips, and a razor blade. So let's take the elastic band off carefully. So 
We've got our bag there. We've got our 20 foot of snail wire. We've got our elastic band. We've got our fishing kit. My fishing kit appears to include mixed shot, two swivels, some line, two hooks, and a fly as well. We've got a few little hooks in there and a fly. That's not a bad little fishing kit. Here's our 20 foot of nylon cord. Could be better if it was power cord, but I can see that they're going in towards keeping the kit as small as possible. This would be our sleeping bag. There's our razor blade. And here we've got a compact BCB compass with our turnable degree dial. It's quite a good little item that is. So look at that. There you go. We can see where north is. Boom. Drop that over there. We've got our snare wire with two very strong looking pull ties. So we, again, we can cut down some wood. Might be a little bit more effective than the blade that we've got. Here we've got some more nylon thread. In this side, we have got four clips that can you turn your sleeping bag into a, a basher. Handy little items they are. Let's have a look, see if we can pick one out. Ah, there we go. So a little rubber clip there. You just slide it up and in, and you've got a nice little attachment there as well. Let's put them down. We've got our candle. Thinner than the standard that you buy from the shop, but again, it's going to do exactly what you need it to do. And we've got our sleeping bag, which is seven foot by three foot. It says it is a polythene bag and it looks like it could be easily damaged. Every item that you see here has multiple uses. So this kit has been put together with a lot of thought a lot of context so we've seen the first part which is more of our fire making our, our keeping warm this section is more to do with shelter so let's get this packed away and we'll have a quick look at c at part c part c is just a single item it's just a foil blanket which is rolled up and constrained by another rubber band. It's vacuum packed in a clear plastic out bag. Now everyone knows that foil blankets can take up a lot more space than that so we're not going to open this bag uh, and make it even harder for me to get back in the pouch later on. Everyone knows what a foil blanket looks like. Um, again this bag as well could be used for food storage or for capturing water so everything that we've got has got multiple dual uses the blanket itself is silver on one side and it is dark olive on the other it's going to retain your body heat through its light although it's light and thin it's going to help you stay warm and dry and it, when you're warm and dry it keeps your spirits up doesn't it it also increases your chance of survival in the wind now the silver fork could also be used for signaling as well um, so if you do see uh, rescue ships or anyone coming in that way or somebody you need to rescue, say you're injured, you need to alert the attention to somebody, you can't make a fire for smoke signal, you can try and use the silver side of your blanket to attract attention. I've been told that it can actually be seen from miles away, so it could be a good thing, could be a bad thing. Depends on your situation, I, I imagine. So great. That's the kit. It's fantastic absolutely love it now i've got to get it all packed away properly so here it all is guys the raf mk4 three-part survival kit ready to be put back into the bags put away in storage and at the moment it is the prize of my collection thanks for letting me share this with you it's been great to get this all out if you want to see more from me, like, subscribe below. You'll find the link to BBC's International down there as well. And share. Thanks, guys. Take care. And there it is, all packed away.
fantastic. <laughs>